My name is Debbie Fierst, and I'll be your instructor for this course. I've been in the technology industry for over 20 years, and I've been teaching Excel since version 1. I've taught hundreds of students, and I look forward to teaching you. In this lesson, Creating Advanced Formulas, we'll learn how to apply range names and how to use specialized functions. In this topic, we're going to learn how to apply range names. We're first going to look at a worksheet without range names and then compare that to a worksheet with range names. We'll also take a little side trip into Excel 2013's Save Options and where to access saved versions of your workbook. Let's look at a worksheet that does not use range names for formulas. Here I've got information about an author who has a contract has been under contract for a certain number of years, has a certain number of books in print, and so on. And I've got a formula where I'm figuring out the income earned by that author. Notice the formula is taking cell E2 and multiplying it by cell F2. E2 times F2 works and gives us the correct amount However, someone coming along behind me and analyzing this workbook would have a difficult time looking at this formula and knowing by looking at cell addresses what I'm trying to do there. So we're going to move into an example next where we utilize range names to make that easier. Here I have the same worksheet we looked at a moment ago without range names. We're doing the same math. We're taking cell E2 and multiplying it by cell F2. However, in this version of the worksheet, we have created range names, number of books sold, and cell price. And we're referencing those range names in our formula rather than the cell references. This would make it much easier for someone coming along who did not create this workbook to understand immediately what is happening to calculate this formula. Now we're going to take just a moment to take a side trip out of range names into the Excel Options dialog box. Under File, you can click on Options and get the Excel Options dialog box that you see in front of you. What they're wanting you to see here is the auto recovery information. Since we'll be doing a lot of advanced work, they want to make sure that you've got your auto recovery turned on and you can set the number of minutes for auto recovery to anything that you want. You could make it save every five minutes if you wanted to. What happens then is your worksheet is saved to whatever location you have specified here in the increment of time that you specify just in case something happens and you get kicked out of your spreadsheet. You can go back then and recover that data. This is particularly useful the more advanced you get in Excel because if you've done a lot of complex work, you don't want to have to do it a second time. If you have turned on the Auto Recover, you can go to the Info area in the Backstage and click on Versions to manage any prior versions of your workbook that happen to be saved in Auto Recovery. So that is another way for you to directly access saved versions of your workbooks.